As an enthusiast, when you hear the phrase autonomous driving, it often makes me cringe. However, whether we like it or not, this technology is coming to all modern vehicles. And today I've been driving across the west part of the country with Cadillac, testing out the company's all new Super Cruise technology. Uh, is Cadillac accelerating or riding the future of autonomous driving? That's what we're here to find out. So I started the leg of this trip uh, back in Santa Fe, New Mexico, where Cadillac flew me out from DC uh, to start a basically 1,200 mile road trip um, all the way to LA. Uh, right now, I'm actually on the second part of the trip. We arrived in Phoenix last night, and we're on our way to LA, uh, and we're driving the 2018 Cadillac CT6. This is the company's flagship uh, sedan. Uh, and it's honestly a really great road trip car, like this one that I'm driving is the Platinum. It's got massaging seats that are heated and cooled. It's really comfortable, it's big, it's the 3 liter twin turbo V6 with all wheel drive. Uh, but this is all to talk about, you know, Cadillac Super Cruise. So I showed you guys the CT6 already, which I really like the way uh, this drove for a big sedan. But the whip, what Super Cruise is, is basically Cadillac's competitor to kind of Tesla's autopilot, Mercedes's drive pilot. Um, and it's approaching level three autonomy. This is still at level two from what Cadillac wanted to tell us. But what, basically what it allows is for full hands-free driving on interstate uh, interstate conditions only. Uh, and the way Cadillac allows this is from several factors. One, there's a camera mounted on the steering column here that watches your face. Uh, it basically wants to make sure that you are paying attention to the road. If I look away from the road, uh, any direction, it'll start, it'll give me about five seconds before it reacts. If I uh, close my eyes, which I actually did earlier, which is terrifying, don't try that at home, uh, it actually started to blink and tell me that I wasn't looking uh, in about five seconds. Now, to activate the Super Cruise, it's pretty easy. Um, basically, just drive down any interstate. Um, Cadillac says that they, the engineers were able to map 160,000 miles of maps from US and Canada. They actually physically drove out and confirmed all the maps. But you wait for a little gray steering icon in the instrument panel that pops up, and you have to actually drive the car perfectly centered in the lane uh, to do that because uh, the, the car uses the you know embedded GPS in the car to scan the road to kind of look ahead and the camera. So once it sees that the two are aligned, it'll allow you to turn on Super Cruise. And then you push this button here on the steering wheel when that green light or when that gray steering wheel comes up. And then once you do, it turns green. Uh, and then it shows that the system is active. Now the Super Cruise allows the car to only go up to about 85 miles per hour and Cadillac did that because they realized that in the US the highest speed limit uh, in Texas I believe was only 85 but once it's active you can actually drive no hands. Now when I first drove it I was seriously confused because this feels completely unnatural. Um, usually with the other systems that I showed you on the market you can take your hands off the wheel for a couple seconds but if you don't touch the wheel and let you know let the car know that you're there it'll start to beep and then turn itself off Cadillac system uses the lidar mapping which basically combines the the maps that they've routed out with the camera system so it can scan way far ahead before the camera will even pick it up and when the system is active it shows a green light here on the steering wheel um, that when it's solid it shows that it's active uh, and then if you start to look away the light will turn green and then if you completely are not paying attention at all it turns red and then it shuts itself off and then when it does that it'll actually come the bring the vehicle down to a full stop so the way Cadillac, Cadillac kind of gets around you know the liabilities thing is you have to be looking at the road so if you kind of just look away for a couple of seconds which is why I haven't been staring at you guys at the camera is because it'll start to yell at me and shut itself off but what really amazes me about the Super Cruise system is the fact that it can actually follow sharp curves in the road um, and that's something that I have never tested before in a production car and it really shows that Cadillac is uh, committed to autonomous driving I mean we're gonna probably see the first autonomous car um, level 5 autonomy where it has no steering wheel by 2030 which I'm still a little skeptical about but this level of you know, driver's assist tech with Super Cruise has really progressed forward. It shows that you know manufacturers are very capable of delivering this hands-free driving. Um, when you guys you know want to uh, take these longer trips, and it makes your drive a lot easier versus you know dealing with the traffic and having to deal with the constant steering on the roads.